Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will explain about the QVD file. So this will be a theoretical concept about the QVD file, just to understand what is a QVD file. And then we will see how we use it or why we use it. So how we use it, I will cover it up in different video in terms of scripting and all, um, how to use it, how to create it and all of that. But for now, let's understand what is a QVD file. So first of all, QVD file is a click view document format. So it's a file very specific for the uh, click view or the click sense to basically export the data or the model or import the data in a very quick fashion. So let's see some of the things related to it. So QVD file, uh, as I mentioned, uh, it is basically related to the click view and click sense. So it is a compressed data format file for click view and click sense. In the backend, it is an XML file and it is useful for the data or the data model export and quick load of the data. So let's see these points one by one and try to understand a little bit about it. So first thing is it is compressed data format for click view or click sense. When you actually create the QVD file, and by the way, you can create the click view or this QVD file only inside it from the click view or click sense. So there is a command in, from which you can create it. So when you create the QVD file, let's say for the use uh, in some other application, because uh, most of the time it happens that one data is being used in different applications. So, so it basically helps you uh, reducing the effort. Let's say if some uh, developer has already made an effort and created uh, a good click view or the click sense file, then you can actually take the backend data out in the form of the click view document format and load it in a separate application, which you are creating. Now the benefit is that because it is a compressed data and uh, what the click basically um, uh, commits that uh, it can compress the data up to 90%. And uh, one of the reasons that it can compress the data up to 80 or 90% is because of its structure. Because in the backend, as I mentioned over here, in the backend, it is an XML file. So I will show you the XML file structure in a couple of minutes. Uh, but uh, that's one of the reasons why it can compress the data uh, to, to a large extent. Maybe there is some other algorithm, but I feel that this is one of the ma major region, reason why, uh, why the data is compressed uh, up to 80 or 90 percent. Now after that, uh, it is useful, as I said, for uh, data or data model export. Let's say there is a huge data, millions of rows. Uh, and uh, if you are connecting to a data source, then it may be taking three to four, five minutes, or even maybe half an hour, who knows, based on how fast the network speed is, how responsive the database is, and all of that factors. Now, if you, let's say, export it from the main data set and created a QVD out of it so that other users can use it, they will not uh, going to spend that much time because QVD just takes a couple of seconds to basically load the millions of rows within, within the click sense or to click view. And you can use it, uh, you know, in a very fast and uh, easy to use fashion. Now, uh, apart from using it, you have the need that you want to export the data, uh, let's say for the use in some other application, then also you can do that. Well, with that, I will just stop here just to uh, give you, uh, just have given you the quick idea about QVD. Now, if somebody will ask you, you will always be able to explain with the help of these points that what is QVD, what is a full form and everything. So now let's see the ClickSense, the ClickSense or the ClickView document format uh, XML structure. So let me go to this QVD. And here I have a lot of different QVDs, but one of the QVD is customers QVD. So let me right click and say open with, and let me open it with the word pad. And uh, if I expand it to you, you will see that there is a version like, uh, what is a version? And then it's a QVD table header. 
if you if you are aware or if you have seen the XML coding, you will be able to figure it out very quickly. So that's basically in the back an XML file, and uh, I feel that it is one of those reasons that uh, it is able to reduce the data. So that's about uh, what the backend of the QVD file is. Uh, I hope you have now got the sufficient understanding, at least uh, some of the very, very basic understanding to explain what is QVD file. Let's say somebody asks you in the interview question, you can explain that. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.